Hi everybody, it's me. Um, I am going to do a final video of um, my marathon journey and I finished. So I ran 26.2 miles today of the Walt Disney World Marathon as you all know. Um, I did very well. I'm very, very satisfied with my time. I shaved about an hour off of my time from last year and it was really, really great. So, um, here is my medal um, that I got at the finish line. And this is my shirt, if you can see it, um, that I got yesterday at the expo. It came in my goodie bag, so I have it on now. I put this on and my medal on to walk to the dining hall to get dinner tonight. Um, and to um, buy some snacks for tonight and breakfast for tomorrow. But unfortunately, I forgot my spoon, so I'm not sure how I'm going to eat the yogurt and the cereal that I bought, but I'll figure that out. So, a little bit about what happened today um, as far as, like, you know, the experience and um, how I'm feeling. I started off with a Cliff Bar uh, um, pace team that had an individual lady who um, led our pace. So we ran for, we would run for five minutes and then we would walk for one. And um, we, you know, we'd run five, walk one, run five, walk one, or about one and a half. And um, it started off very well, but at about mile um, five, I had to use the restroom. And we were supposed to take care of whatever business, you know, use the restroom, get water or whatever along the way, um, and then catch up with the group when we were done. Um, but that turned out to be very, very difficult because I ended up running a lot faster um, than I was supposed to to catch up with the group if I ever had to stop, like at the medical tent to get Tylenol or to get, you know, biofreeze for my knees. Um, so that was tough because, um, I ended up running, you know, a lot faster in the beginning than I was supposed to in order to catch up with the group because the group did not stop if one person, you know, had to go off to do something. So at about mile 11, I decided that I wasn't going to stay with the group. I also discovered that the lady who was leading the group, the pace, uh, the pacer was actually running a lot faster than she said she would. The pace that she said she'd um, she'd run at was about a 12 minute mile, 12 and a half minute mile, and every time I looked at my watch, the group was going at least 10 minutes per mile. So we were going a lot faster than she had originally um, told us, and so I decided at about mile 11 that I was going to uh, break off from the group and just do it on my own. Another girl who was a part of the pace team, I saw her um, kind of break off too, and we sort of found each other and asked each other how we were doing, how we were, you know, um, doing with our running, and we decided to stick with each other. So um, it's uh, so much easier to run a long distance like that with somebody, and we both agreed that. So I had my watch, and every two minutes my watch would beep, and so we would run for two minutes, and then we'd walk for two minutes. We'd run for two, we'd walk for two, um, right at about... Uh, we didn't start that until about mile 14, though. So we just kind of ran from mile 11 to mile 14, um, just kind of felt it out. And then at about mile 14 is when we put that um, we put that method into place, run to, walk to, run to, walk to. And that worked out great for us. Uh, we were supporting each other. We kept talking each other through. The um, toughest part about running such a long distance is your mind and thinking that you can do it and um, that is the hardest part because you start feeling pain my knees were hurting my hips were hurting my feet started hurting at about um, at about mile 19 or so really really hurting I was I could feel blisters um, it forming so I um, you know, we kept encouraging each other. We kept saying, you know, you can do it. You can do it. We're finishers. We're going to finish the marathon. And I was very, um, I was very glad that I had a friend with me, uh, or, you know, someone with me to, to help me through. So, 
uh, we learned a lot about each other. Um, we helped each other through, and I, you know, I hope um, her name was Bridget, and I hope Bridget, you know, um, you know, is is proud of herself. I did end up um, for the last about half mile. Um, I did end up leaving her because we we were both trying to stick with each other, but I wanted to run. I wanted to run through the last half mile, and so she still wanted to stop and walk, and she told me to just go ahead, that she didn't want to slow me down. I gave her a hug, and then I just ran, you know, the last half mile all the way through to the finish line. Um, and that's it. So I looked up at the clock. Um, the thing about the clock, the official clock, is that we, uh, my corral didn't start until about 30 minutes um, after the first corral started, when the clock started. So I had to add about 30 minutes to my time. Um, well, I shouldn't say that, but when I looked at the clock, there was 30 minutes added to the time that I had on my watch. I didn't start my watch until I started at the, at the starting line. So, um, you know, the, the clock time on my picture, that my final picture, will have about 30 minutes added to it, um, which is fine. So, but that's not my official time. My official time started started when I when I stepped through the starting line, um, and I had a D tag on my shoe that indicate you know that was an electronic thing that indicates you know when I cross certain mile markers. So, um, that's about it. Um, I'm really sore. I'm really stiff. Um, I have to eat a lot. I have to replenish all the calories that I lost. Um, and that's it. So thank you all so, so much for all your support to everyone who donated to help me get down here. Um, thank you for so much for believing in me, for believing in my dream um, or my mission, I should say, to go on this journey um, for my Granny Lee. And um, I hope she's, you know, smiling down on me and and proud of me for doing this for her. Um, I really miss her a lot. And you know, I'm inspired by her work that she did when she was here. So this is just me kind of um, memorializing her in that way. So um, thank you guys so much for watching the videos. And I hope that um, I inspired somebody out there to want to run a marathon or run any race, a 5K, 10K, whatever. Um, just get out there and do it. No fear, no um don't be scared. It's not, it's mind over matter. You know, I didn't let fear take over when I first ran my first marathon. And that was actually my motivation to run the first marathon was that I didn't want to be scared of anything anymore. So, um, I did it and you can do it too. And that's it. So I'll see you guys later.